watch, tweet, repeat. Look for the hashtag in the upper right corner of the screen throughout the show. Previously on the pregame. See if we can't get this thing turned around this year. Yes, sir. Every sprint, every play, every quarter. They're big. They're bigger than I thought they'd be. The two inside linebackers going to be hard to do. Hey, we're one and zero. You know what our goal is now? Let's go two and zero. When you don't make a mistake, then you criticize the teammate. Until you are mistake free. Keep your mouth shut! People say this is going to make us or break us, but I think that even if we come close to winning, we're still going to have confidence in this game, and people will know that we're not going to lay down for anybody. We're going to be a good football team. That's where we're headed. We're headed to be a good football team. That's what we want to be. We're going to keep playing the best. We're going to be the best one of these days. You got me? Yes, sir. Right. Might as well start money. You guys are into the pregame. Greatest, biggest, strangest, yeah. Greatest, biggest. Good afternoon and welcome to the Sports Drive on Talk 101.3, The Buzz. Scott Williams along with Robbie O'Brien here breaking down the first week of action in high school football. And Robbie, it was a big week this week. Big week for our local teams. Of course, Walker Valley you know, starting off 1-0 after losing 16 in a row. Coach Ryan got them off to a great start, 20-12 victory over East Ridge. Of course, we had the Bradley Bears going on the road and playing a tough Polk County team, coming away 31-7. And... The Cleveland Raiders. I mean, we, we, we talked about it going into the week. 41-17 loss on the scoreboard, but forced four turnovers. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, capitalize on, on some of those mistakes moving forward and minimize the penalties and Blue Raiders will get off on a winning note. Well, you know, as we look into week two, uh, now week three, uh, week one has passed us. Uh, you got uh, Cleveland hosting uh, Knox Catholic. Another big game for Cleveland. First home game for uh, head coach uh, Ron Crawford taking over that program, taking on a very good, uh, you know, no, uh, um, Knox Catholic team. Great running back there as well. We're up against our first break right here on Talk 101.3. The Buzz, Scott Williamson, Robbie O'Brien with the Sports Drive. We'll be back after this moment. Well, we're here today at uh, at Bear Stadium. We're, it's pitcher day. It's a, a big day for families and and our players, and uh, it's a tough day for coaches because. We've got to get everything ready. We've got to try to coordinate. Uh, great photos out here uh, taking our pictures. And what we do is we try to take pictures. They get individual. They can, they can buy through great photos. And then a lot of these pictures will be in our program. So that's what, that's what we're out here doing. Uh, the seniors will get their picture taken along with their families. You know, the freshmen especially, they come in and we kind of uh, can, can kind of greet them, kind of put a face with a parent. It looks like we're halfway done. So after this, I'll be ready to eat and sleep. I'm about to light a hop up. <laughs> scared me. Well, that's one of the the neat things about uh, pitcher days. We get a chance to kind of meet some old players that that maybe their uh, brothers playing or maybe a, a cousin. They're out here for pitcher day, and even their you know dads. You know, like like Bryce and uh, his dad are out here today. He's a former player, so we get a chance to. We have a lot of legacies that play for Bradley, and it's exciting to kind of get them back on campus, back on the field, and they get excited about it. And so it's, it's just a good chance to, to meet the Bear family. It's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. Well, Raider spirit's not hard to find. I mean, we have a school that really gets behind school spirit, and uh, they, the kids are excited. They start their school year planning out what they're going to do and how they're going to support our athletes. Our school really loves football, not just because of the football players, but the band and the color guard, the dance team, the cheerleaders. There's a lot of people involved in what we do on Friday nights, and so 
Um, our students and teachers really love to support um, our Raiders. Any way that we can promote school spirit and promote what being a Cleveland High School Raider is about. Uh, the first Friday night football game at home is a great uh, time to be on campus. Everybody's uh, just anticipating, um, you know, Friday night, Friday night lights, which is uh, what this town lives for. If you come to Benny Monroe Stadium on a Friday night, you notice our student section, and that student section is led by our cheer squad and our dance squad. It's just a great place to be on a Friday night, and there's no other feeling like it. I came from a small rural town in upstate New York. It just doesn't happen everywhere. This has some, there's something special here on Friday nights, um, and, and we're very lucky to have that to be a part of. Hey, hey. Yep, we're ready. We're always ready. Ready to go? Yeah. Um, what time are you guys meeting? What time are the cheerleaders? Miss Barnett plays a really pivotal role in what we do for school spirit. Um, not just as the cheer captain, but she's also an alum of Cleveland High School, so she very much understands the tradition and what is important for us to carry on, what are some things that we can do to um, enjoy Friday night, and not just football, but basketball and wrestling and all of our um, other activities. Thank you. Thank Let me know you. you think. All right, thanks. All right. My name is Melissa Barnett, and I'm the coach of the Varsity Cheerleaders. When I was in school, you know, it was a lot more just sideline stuff. When I have friends and stuff come back, they're like, oh my gosh, your girls are such gymnasts. Um, but they are, they're athletes now. Um, they're doing a lot of tumbling, a lot of stunts. Um, we do a lot of things to make sure they're not getting hurt because it is more of an intense sport than I think it used to be. As far as just like the tumbling aspect, the stunt aspect, I mean, you're throwing girls, you know, 120 pound girls up in the air, you're catching them. Um, and we don't have a co-ed squad, so it's all girls doing this. Everybody to the Raiders Rumble! Everybody to the Raiders Rumble! Everybody! Rumble! But if, if that person in front of you is gone, then you go. And that'll keep this back group from um, having to wait too long, okay? Now listen, I hate to do this, but don't do the everybody Rumble! Okay? Make sure you use your diction. Can I try it again? This squad in particular, um, I watched them as freshmen. I've seen them grow, and now I have the same seniors. So to see these girls grow up, go to college, come back and visit, um, I would say being a mentor is definitely the best part. I love our cheer coach. We've been with her for like, well, I've been there with her for three years. The rest of the team, mostly four. Um, she's great. She's always there if you need anything. You can come to, it doesn't even have to be about cheerleading. You can come to her and just ask her anything and she'll answer and give you the best advice. I feel like we're kind of the leaders of the spirit. Um, we'll be down there, we'll have a couple like of our friends that are boys and they'll like, help us lead cheers too so we can get the crowd involved and like we do pep rallies and we just try to get like everyone involved even, even if they're not involved in like a sport or anything. We just try to get them like pumped about Cleveland really.
Can you help me? Somebody hit my car and their insurance company wants me to take it to a shop across town. You have the right by state law to choose the body shop that you want to repair your vehicle. And every repair we do is covered by our lifetime warranty. Over the past 15 years, many people have chosen Gilbert's for their collision repair needs. In case you accidentally need us, we're located one block off South Lee Highway, directly behind the CVS Pharmacy. I'm Dr. Brian Beard with the Center for Cosmetic and Implant Dentistry. Dental implant technology is changing the way we replace missing teeth. Whether you're missing one tooth or wearing dentures, dental implants are the best long-term option available today. Call us today to see if you might benefit from dental implants. Guys live their lives a little differently. And we get it. We're Sport Clips, where guys get an awesome MVP haircut experience while watching sports on TV. Sport Clips, good to be a guy. Locally owned Royal Buffet, the largest restaurant in Cleveland, offers a wide selection of your favorite foods, Chinese, Japanese, and American. Royal Buffet, grill, sushi, and steak. The following portion of the pregame is brought to you by RPM Transport, Cleveland, Tennessee. The following is brought to you by RelyLocal.com. First thing you're going to do is what? Break. Lock the door. Okay, put the key in the ignition. All right, now we're going to adjust our seat and adjust the, the steering wheel. Left hand on the steering wheel, left hand, that's your right hand. Adjust your rear view mirror. Put your seat belt on, rear your rear view mirror, not your side. Ready to start the vehicle. What you gonna do with your foot? Put it on the brake? Yep. Can I take my shoes off? Before. No, not right now. It's illegal. Okay, okay. Yes, now we're ready to drive. That took a long time, but you'll get faster at it, okay? Pick a side to the cone, whichever cone you want to go around. It's in drive, yeah. Yeah, it's in drive. So I can go like that? Yeah, either way, that's fine. Now, we're, we're control, it's not a we don't have to go very fast. We just want to make sure we don't hit the cones. The cones represent people, objects, and we don't want to hit people or objects. I cut that one short. <laughs> okay, uh, that's not good. We just hit the cone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we bump somebody, which is not good. Okay, look at the cone and work your way so you don't hit the cone. Prepared for Knox Catholic uh, home opener, second ball game, and uh, they uh, present us with several problems. They do what they do very, very well. You know, we got to crawl before we can walk, and, and we're not even crawling real well right now. So, what we're trying to get is great effort. We don't understand great effort. We had zero plays of 11 people giving their all on defense last Saturday. So, I, I, they can turn the scoreboard off, they can turn it on, they can do whatever they want to. We're looking for great effort and understanding how to play with great effort. Come up. Yes, yes. Right now, getting ready for Knox Catholic. First home game, big game. Now we want to get our first win, get back on track. Uh, just trying to work hard, get ready. All right. We got to be strong. We got to be mentally tough. Mentally tough is putting yourself in an uncomfortable position and being okay with it, right? Yes, sir. Let's do that now. Push yourself. Good. Good. David, good. 
David Morgan, he'll tell you he's a special kid. He's a, I, I got back into coaching after six years absent and coaching and head coach for eight years and assistant for 18 years. David Morgan's one of those kids that ranked up very top with, with some great athletes that we had here in the past. So I'm, I'm excited to, to, to be able to come back this year and coach this young man. He's a senior, but whoever coached him in the past has done a great job with him. So I can't take much credit for that. Not, he go, he's going to make mistakes. The champion will make mistakes, but the champion will learn from those mistakes and, and go on and not worry about it and dwell on those things and get better. That's a champion. Like I said, we're doing some small things wrong, but one thing we're doing right right here is we're playing hard. Look at all those white jerseys right there. Man, that, that's a pretty football play. And guys, this isn't athletic ability. This play isn't athletic ability. This is effort, and you guys doing what you're coached to do, okay? And I mean, that's what the offense is about right there. It's not about superstars. It's about finding the grass. We got a great play right here. We got a lot of guys giving great effort. Man, they, they don't have a prayer. The offensive line, guys, you're not going to get any recognition from the paper, really. But let me tell you, you're my heroes. You're the football team's heroes. What you do makes more of a difference in us winning football games than maybe anybody on the football team. Okay? And it's an unsung hero part. Keep getting better. Keep being a great teammate. Keep playing like that right there. Now, David Morgan right here. Guys, this isn't a pretty play, but look, he gets his pads down. It's second and one. Boom. And he falls forward. What, four-yard gang right there? You know, that's a big play right there. What I'm trying to get at is, guys, those things are going to happen on a football team. You better take care of one another. You better take care of one another. You better defend one another. You better get to a point where you can trust one another. Be honest with yourself right here. Are we working as hard as we could in our pre-practice specialty period when we first go there? And it's not just that. It's catching punts. It's catching kicks. It's snapping. It's all those things. It's not just this right here. Okay? So you guys that are seniors, you guys that are leaders on this football team, y'all better take some responsibility in that. I don't think y'all understand how ready I am right now for the brother. Yeah. Yeah.
love traffic. Over 25,000 cars a day drive by our billboards. Could your business use 25,000 more customers? Let's talk. Call East West Media. On my journey across America, I found new ways to tell people about saving money. This is Bobby. Say hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby! Do you know you could save hundreds on car insurance over the phone, online, or at your local Geico office? Tell us, Bobby, what would you do with all those savings? I am a bit of ventriloquist. Your lips are moving. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hi, I'm Wes Leverett, owner and operator of Bradley Tree Service. I'm your local ISA certified tree specialist serving Bradley County for 15 years. We have the right equipment and specialize in a wide range of services designed to keep your trees healthy and looking great. I'm Wes Leverett with Bradley Tree Service. Hi for a call. Sound does audio installations for your automobiles and even your home. Underground Sound does the most basic installations to full out custom designs. Not only does Underground Sound do installations for automobiles, they also do it for boats. You're watching the pregame, brought to you by Underground Sound. The following is brought to you by RelyLocal.com. Austin. What's up, man? Where are you sitting today? Hey, guys. Me and Dalton are going rock climbing next weekend up to uh, G Creek. Should be a lot of fun. Where's that at? It's up in Polk County. I don't go to Polk County. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all can go if you want. Offers up if y'all want to go. I know you've been wanting to go, so if you want to go, you can. We can't lose the first home game, man. We can't lose any game, really, but I mean, not this one. You're in New Jersey? Yeah. First one to win number one, baby. I'm pretty Alright, Scott Williams and Robbie O'Brien uh, live here on Talk 3 The Buzz, bringing the sports drive. And we see Cleveland Blue Raiders uh, will be taking the field tonight uh, for the first home opener at Benny Monroe Stadium with uh, first year head coach Ron Crawford. And Robbie, you know, the team looks energized. The whole stadium looks energized, Scott. And there's the kickoff, and the 2012 Cleveland Blue Raider home opener is underway. Great way to start the first defensive possession there with Reed Allison coming up with the big pick. Oh, they give the score. Touchdown Blue Raiders. They take the lead early here, 6-0 to zero on Knox Castle. And the extra point is good. And here's Coulter. We said he's turning the corner. He's ducking inside. Looks like did he get across? He's in. Well, they give him the score there. Big touchdown, Nick Coulter. That's a big guy to bring down and uh, knocks Catholics on the scoreboard as well. Austin Herrick finds a man open across the middle there in a good field position for the Blue Raiders. He's running down the sidelines. He's got room to go. Makes a little nice inside out move. Ooh, did he looks get like, one? Looks like he's out of bounds. Oh, they called him down. 10 yard line. Austin Herrick, he's rolling out to the left. He's got, oh, he's going to nice himself. Oh, was he in, Robbie? What are they calling? I think he's down at the one. Down at the one. 
Quarterback sneak, Austin, touchdown. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. Wow, we got a ball game on our hands here. Big, big, big return uh, score, score there by the Blue Raiders. What an answer up. Still in this ball game. Great ball game here at Van Monroe Stadium. Every play matters. We hadn't even executed well on offense. We stole it. If we ever get where we execute, we're going to be something. You ready, Coach Rich? And Austin Herrick drops back. He's throwing one deep down the left side. He's got Eric Goodwin, touchdown, Blue Raiders. Blue Raiders. Wow, big, big, big touchdown. Way to answer. What a catch, what a play. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. I own this. I'm trying to go deep like Roma when you throw in the own wings. It's hard to survive if you stay asleep. I see people get stretched like they do it for an incomplete. So wipe the crust from your sleepy eyes. For a couple guys, leave you stiff with the sleepy eyes. Austin's dropping back. He's looking left. Oh, he's scrambling. He's scrambling. Oh, there's he's DJ. got DJ Jones out in the flat. Oh, oh, he's he's making makes a great move down the sideline. He's he's staying down. He's, he's going to back. He's looking. Oh, he's, he's going to hit for a score. Touchdown. Let's see if they call it back. Oh, I see a flag. There is a flag. Flag on the left side. Oh, I think man. this one's coming back. That would have oh. tied the game, Scott. The next play, we got another offsides. Wow, that's two uh, in a row. start. Now they're punting from the end zone. Blue Raiders are forced to punt, and the, and the Irish are getting and great field gave, position. And they gave short field, and it's Nick Coulter again. Wow. Touchdown. This, this is turning to the Nick Coulter show here at Benny Monroe Stadium. Well, Scott, the Blue Raiders have to be disappointed. Uh, 17 penalties for, I think, 130 yards. Wow and only five penalties for 35 yards against Knox Catholic. Well, you know, we played a pretty good football team tonight. Uh, Knox Catholic is a, a wing T team, and uh, if you only have a week to prepare for a wing T team. You just don't know the difficulty it is trying to uh, stop their offense, and you got people running in all directions, and it, it, it's tough. And I, I thought we played a pretty good football game. We were our own worst enemy tonight. We just made too many mistakes. You're not going to win. You make too many mistakes against a good football team. It's not the referee's fault. Not even individual I think we were in the game the whole time. Uh, every time we made, it seemed we made a big play. They, uh, we got a penalty. We made a bunch of mistakes tonight. Starting Monday, we'll work on fixing our mistakes and uh, hopefully go out and beat Udawa. Eyes open, ears open, heart open, gut open, passion ready, available to get better. Teach me. Teach me. We scrambled through a lot on you this week. We got, we got, we got, we won't, won't be as hard next week. We'll be more familiar with it. We got to scramble. We got to execute on both sides of the ball. I mean, we got weapons. We did some good things. We've got to quit stabbing ourselves in the foot. We got to quit stabbing ourselves in the foot. Starts here. Starts here. Starts right behind me. Filters down to you guys. The following is brought to you by East West Media, your billboard company, and by your show sponsor, Takoyaki. All right, welcome back to Talk 101.3, The Buzz, bringing the sports drive here and, uh, you know, uh, rounding up week two talk and, uh, you know, looking into week three. Uh, Robbie, what's, what's your initial thoughts? Well, kudos to Walker Valley. I mean, yeah. I, again, you know, they, they showed out on the road and got the big win at Hickson. 2-0. 2-0. Oh. and oh. Two and oh. I, I like the momentum going into the to the bye week. Oh yeah. I think they're gonna have an excellent shot at beating Red Bank in their home opener in two weeks. Another big week for high school football in the area. So, you know, tune in to uh uh, Talk 101.3, The Buzz, we'll have a lot of action on there. And also our sister station, Mix 104.1. Yeah. Let's go! Bradley Central, Walker Valley, Cleveland Blue. Let's get it cracking. 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 Coach 